Michael, Monsterdy. Here we have one. Uh, it is Awa Odori. It's a type of dance from Shikoku Island, but it's become very popular all throughout Japan, and many uh, uh, areas will do uh, similar dances. So in summertime, uh, there are many festivals or matsuri, and many Japanese will dress in this type of kimono, uh, known as, yeah, known as yukata. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so matsuri wa ski desu ka? All right, good. And so uh, awa odori nan desu ka? What is awa odori? Dance from Shikoku, she says. One of the reasons I love Japan. Japan has so many festivals, Matsuri, every month. And for the last four or five years, I've been, um, it's become kind of my hobby or obsession to uh, go to a lot of these festivals. I've been to many festivals up and down um, uh, Japan. And the reason I like going to them is they're very interesting, unique, and they're quite a different side of Japan than I normally see it. English teacher, I sometimes see the bad side of Japan. I see like overworked students, students that are bored or boring. Uh, you know, some that have their hobbies are they list as sleeping. You know, so it get, it, it, uh, it can give kind of a negative in, um, impression of Japan. But going to these uh, festivals kind of changes all that because you see uh, Japanese. Uh, truly alive. Another thing I like about these festivals is like um, so many people participate in them of all ages. Even the age where back home in my in America, they would be too cool to do something like this. You find even them, uh, they get involved. So yeah, like, you find Matsuri's uh, kids from age two to adults up to 90 will participate in these events. So I really like that kind of community. Uh, traditional spirit that is shown in these kind of uh, festivals.
So the great thing about these festivals is you got food and beer. Yay. <laughs> 